We're trying out the shakers. It should only be a few moments between before Rob and I are completely at each other. Yeah. I was just telling Rob I should come dressed for these events. Because right now it looks like I'm just here to steal stuff. So. So what is that, like 50 hertz? Yeah. Thereabouts? Okay. <laughs> Definitely make it sound like R2. Forty-five, I guess, is about the resonant frequency for these things. Good. Still does doing? well. It does all, it falls yeah. all the way to 35 in the other direction. And you can still feel it below that, but it certainly doesn't have the efficiency. It's cool. There's, feel there's it. more output. Whoa. <laughs> when you dropped it really low, it was still kicking along pretty well. Okay, now it's really falling off. 24. Where is it at now? 23. Oh, that's funny. So it really doesn't go below 20, then. Well, the amps, the amps are passing 15. Oh yeah, it's priced up. But it's trying. It's a little warm. It's not, like, ridiculously warm. I can touch it just fine, but it is working. <laughs> Why are you at now, 10? <laughs> See where the Bryston cuts off. Bryston shuts down at 9.7. Because huh. I can hear the unit responding down there. It, I, I mean, it could also be the shaker. Yeah. Yeah, I doubt the shaker's going to have a hard cut off. It's probably the amp. You like about 30 now? <laughs> I don't know if it sounds like this too, but from where I am, it sounds very um, <clears throat> pole like position. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to say like a lawnmower. <laughs> and it's just a huge jump in efficiency above. We're, we're hovering, I'm just swinging oh, back uh, and forth from 22 to like 29. Watch the level. Smell something. Yeah, it got a lot hotter. I think all that time running at 9 hertz might have. <laughs> Probably got the temperature way up there. Yeah. Okay, signal's gone. Just to let it cool down. I would turn the level down. Oh, I'm sorry. Only because I smell voice coil. Well, we had a little bit of a breakthrough on just functionality. So, where we thought we would attach to the frame, no, we're directly to the seating surface. So. Cool. <clears throat> we thought that it would transmit two directly, and the, just the way, just by the design of the platform, one unit on the seat spread right out across this, the platform. So we have yet to test three, but uh, Rob and I just decided to turn the key and just go for all nine. Yep. So we're going to finish wiring it and then run it back to the amp. Uh, we'll turn it on, and then from there we run, and uh, you have a ball. Yeah, that's really great right there. 30. <laughs> so why not get it right to the seating surface? Detach all of the all of the seating surfaces from the wide flat brace and just go to the narrow braces. <laughs> Works for me. So the narrow braces keeps it quiet. Yeah. But if they're if it's attached to the wide flat ones, then 
Then you get all three of the shakers hooked right to the seating surface instead of the braces now, yeah. right? All three of them are right, right I there. I see that one, I see that one. And then this one here? Yeah. Go check. Yeah, it's very well distributed. I think what's happening down there is evening out the whole thing. Hmm. But if you did it to every single one, then then it'd be like, yeehaw, happy days are here again. But press board, I don't think press board's gonna hold the shakers. I think this and this have to become uh -huh. the same plywood. Just solving what was going on down there cured the whole thing because this whole row is pretty solid. Oh, yeah, that's better than before. See, I think what we really need to do next is we need to uh, get the track done and try the actual track on here. We have to determine how loud the track needs to play. And, I think what you need is someone with a very sensitive posterior. <laughs>